21 year old Southern University student did help organize a peaceful protest of more than a thousand people this weekend. But on any, any other day, she's working a website to support local African American businesses. Fox 44's Abby Rocha has the story. We can't take another blow. Like, we want so much for this city that it takes all of us collectively to make something happen. And that starts with supporting all small businesses. You may recognize Myra Richardson when she's not leading a peaceful protest. These people affect your lives. She is working on her website, supportblack.biz, a directory with exclusively African American owned businesses. We want to show that we have a business community that is lively, that is vibrant, and that is really moving forward and progressing. Richardson says today is a great day to start supporting a black business, especially in this time of unrest. We do amazing things in this city and it starts with us supporting each other. Richardson hopes her trend of supporting and coming together to make things better peacefully catches on across the nation. Baton Rouge is going to do everything differently. I think moving forward, if we say we're going to be trendsetters, that we're going to set the tone, then that is the messaging that Baton Rouge should be bringing forward, that we are capable, that we are leaders, that we are moving this country forward with our own voice. Parker's Pharmacy is on Myra's list. Black businesses bring jobs to the community. Uh, so it's not Fortune 500 retailers. These are businesses that you go to church with, other community events with. These are your neighbors. These are people that you should be, should be supporting in, in, in the city, in the community. Orlando Parker says if you want to make a difference, it starts with support. With, with the amount of attention um, with everything going on in the nation, uh, it's important for us to reach out to those communities just to show that support. Support, love, and celebration for the black community is what Richardson believes the Baton Rouge community needs right now more than ever. So when you make that decision on a daily basis, that is when we will see change in this community. Abby Rocha, Fox 44 News.